Buongiorno. Today we're going to do on our international Cook with Flair video series and it, a dish from Italy that is very good and wonderful. My family just love this dish and it's so easy to make. It's called Polo Fra Diabolo. Start with a hot pan and you put about half a cup of olive oil and you let it get hot. We do our fra diabolo with hot cayenne pepper. We dust it on the chicken, about a, a spoonful of it. Then you put it on the hot oil and let that sear into the chicken and into the oil. You will understand the flavoring of this dish that is so wonderful uh, uh, in Italian culture and cuisine. The Italians love a good meal, and as a result, I can be sure that you're going to enjoy my chicken fra diavolo done with the cayenne pepper. You sear the chicken, as you can see, and when you coat it back and forth, make sure that all the meat is seared on every aspect of the side. It takes about a minute to do. It's very, very quick. It's a wonderful dish when you come home from work and you're tired and you don't want to spend too much time on the kitchen. This will go very quick. Once the chicken is here, as you have seen, then you get some nice garlic and put it right on the pan and you let it get the flavor into the oil and some fresh parsley. Parsley is one of the main ingredients in Italian cooking, especially when you do chicken piccata, chicken fra diablo, chicken verdicchio. All of those dishes require a good amount of parsley. Fresh cut is wonderful for it. Then a trademark of Italian cooking is wine. Once everything is really hot, you put in about one cup of good white wine. It can be Pinot, it can be Pinot Grigio, Chablis, any kind of wine that you have in the house. To that mixture, we put in crushed tomato. I use the canned tomato because it's terrific and it tastes good and it's less work. Blend it all in, fold it into the pan and let it get hot again and revive. Put a nice, a good spoon of oregano. I like to do a little bit more of the tomato paste, like one spoon just to thicken the sauce a little bit. In Italian culture, this, a tomato sauce should never be watery. When you put the tomato sauce over the pasta, it should never run the water on the plate. I'm going to spice it up with a little bit of salt. And I like to use kosher salt. I think about a teaspoon of it will do good. You blend it all in, and then you let that simmer, and uh, in the meantime, when this is cooking, you have some nice linguine or capellini. Today we're featuring uh, capellini uh, and here pasta to go with the fra diabolo. So take uh, some of this freshly made pasta that you had cooked up, put a little bit on a dish, and then you put the, the fra diabolo right over the dish. Nice. Oh. My goodness, it smells terrific. It's great when you do your uh, Italian cooking to have some nice pecorino romano or parmigiano romano and then you grate it fresh. 
you put a few of these over the dish, and that, when that opens up, it gives the dish a terrific kick to it. That's what you call Italian. Buon appetito. Se mangia buono. Buon appetito. Grazie.